Hey kids, Chris Cooper here. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, I started binging some Toto concerts on Amazon Prime, and of course, the guitar player in the band Toto is Steve Lukather, who is an absolute monster. Um, I love his playing, most of us love his playing, and something about his playing that we really love is his use of this kind of jazzy chromaticism um, in a rock and roll kind of ballsy context. So I started thinking about, you know, like, how does he do that? And I don't know any Steve Lukather licks. Um, most of the way that I have learned has been, I like the way this sounds, how do I make a sound like that? So never been a note for note lick guy, but I started thinking about it. And what I came up with was like, say if we took maybe um, the pentatonic box, we're in B minor in this case, uh, so say the box above our home base, up here around the 10th fret. So you could use that as a visual aid to kind of see where you are. Um, then we can kind of visualize around that just a series of just chromatic tones in that 9 to 12 fret area um, that kind of overlaps that pentatonic box, something like this. Not the most musical thing in the world, but we're getting there. So the next thing to do is decide on a rhythm. We're going to be using 16th notes, so da 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 What I tried to do was visualize, okay, so I'm playing over a chord progression that's kind of like a B minor to E7, E major thing, which is glaringly Dorian. So how can I create kind of a jazzy line, a la Steve Lukather, using that information, which is I have all of these notes available to me, some of which do not work. And these that I know do work. And we could expand that to the actual scale position we're in. So what I came up with was something like this. We've got four chromatic tones on the low E string. We're going to do um, four tones on the A string. We're going to expand that to an arpeggio idea, kind of continue that idea, continue that idea again, chromatic tones descending, bluesy finish. And I kind of like the sound of it, and it does sort of fall into your fingers in a comfortable way. Altogether, slowly, it sounds something like this. Mm -hmm. 